Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTN HD and finally going to do the review on the Synology RT 2600 AC wireless router. Now, rather than me giving you a breakdown that it is awesome and this router is beautiful and it runs fast, uh, I'm going to mix it up a little bit with this review. First things first is I kind of regret me purchasing my Netgear uh, AC1750. I purchased it maybe like two years ago and I spent maybe close to 150 bucks. I wish I knew about this guy because I'd have definitely got it. And the reason why, it's not because of the price. The price for the Synology RT2600 AC is going to cost you around 200 bucks. Uh, after taxes, maybe 210, a little bit more. But the reason why I would get this than the one that I have at home is because it's easy to set up. This is this is one of those routers. If my friend or family member is like, Bernard, I want you to set up my wireless at home. What should I get? So you could go set it up. I would say, look, get this. Price is a little high, but it would make it so easy to set it up. It's just extremely easy. Another thing that I like about the RT2600 AC is the power. It has a, a lot of RAM. I think it's running a quad core processor and the memory. Those two things, it runs like a mini Nook computer, which is awesome. It does have a lot of awesome features like the safe access, uh, the, what is it, the multi, the multi user, multiple input, multiple output kind of technology. It also has beam forming, has all those little neat features. It is fast. I found myself playing video games wirelessly. I, know, I hardly play games on the wireless system. I like to put everything wired. My PC, my laptop, wire it, play games, Destiny, League of Legends, but I wanted to test it out. It works extremely well, especially if you go inside the console, you're able to tell it which machine in your network should get more, you know, more network, more, more wireless connection, more power. It just works. I was really surprised that it works, but every wireless router in the market will work great if you have a strong bandwidth, meaning if your internet service provider is strong enough, if you have like a hundred millibits per second or even higher with your input and outputs uh, connection, your upload and download, you're going to get that great internet speed. If you have a sucky speed, your wireless router is going to run sucky. Okay. Don't think because you purchase a very expensive wireless router that when you plug it in, you're going to get fast speeds. That's only the first part. Okay. The second part is what you insert inside that WAM port. All right. If you're Verizon or AT&T or Spectrum or whatever services you have does not have that import and output, basically your download and upload speeds are not high enough. You're not going to get that great wireless speed for me. I had a, a lot of bandwidth. So when I inserted this guy inside my network, I was getting no speeds. It was just amazing. I was super surprised. All right, so I'm gonna stop talking and we're gonna go over some of the configuration and installation because again, it was super simple and I would definitely recommend this to anyone, even my grandparents, if they were still alive uh, and they wanted wireless, I would definitely get this because it's in and out kind of situation. Figure the RT2600 AC from Synology. Uh, I've got the router over here hooked up, power. The blue cable is actually connected to my uh, my WAM. The green cable is connected to the LAN. All right. Blue cable is going to give me internet. Green cable is with one of the LAN ports, which this laptop is hooked up to the green. And I'm going to power this guy on. Okay, if you have the router facing you, the power button is like right there and it's a toggle key and turn this guy on. It does take a while for it to boot up. I did notice that when I was doing the unboxing for you guys. So uh, this little status indicator right here is amber. It takes a while for it to change green. But once everything is fully loaded, the 2.4 gigahertz and the 5.0 gigahertz and also the wham one will change all green all right so we're going to wait until that stuff loads up and we are going to configure it okay so the synology rt 2600 ac router has completed 
in rebooting. <laughs> uh, everything is green. The only thing that's amber is actually on the, I think the green, this guy right here, the LAN. Uh, and the only thing that I have hooked up is the computer, the laptop. All right, so once your Synology RT2600 AC wireless router is up and running, it is time to configure it. Uh, you can use an iPad or a laptop. Within this demo, I use the laptop and I search for the SSID. Uh, it's going to be called Synology Router. You're going to click on it. It automatically wants you to insert the eight-digit PIN. Uh, I didn't do this. I clicked on Connect using a security key instead. And the default password is Synology, all lowercase. You're going to click Next. And then you answer whatever you want from here. I said no. And boom, you're connected. You're connected within the router, but it doesn't have internet access. Okay. The next thing that we need to do is open up your favorite browser. I already had Chrome up and running. And you want to type in the following, router.synology.com. Once you enter this, you're going to hit Enter. It's going to start loading up, and it's going to load this up. Super simple. Once you get this, it's just straightforward. Uh, we're gonna click on start. You're going to provide an admin password, confirm it, make sure it's super strong because this password is what is going to allow you to get into your router, your RT2600 AC router, okay? So once you provide a password, you're gonna click on next. And then from here, we need to change the SSID. So my SSID was BTNHD. My password, confirm it, make sure it's strong. You're going to click next from there. And then from here, by default, the operation mode is going to be a wireless router. You are able to disable external access to your CRM. If you click on the drop down right here, you're going to have two options. You can either make the wireless router a router or a AP, an access point. We don't want an access point. We're trying to give ourselves wireless, you know, connection. So it's going to be a wireless router. And then from here, you are able to access your router outside of your firewall. I changed mine to enable because I want to access it externally. Once you pick your options, just click on next. From here, it's time to set up your internet connection. By default, it is set up as auto IP. This is automatically going to get an IP address from your modem. If you click on the drop down menu, you got other options. You could do a manual IP. Uh, I picked manual IP and I entered the IP address, a subnet, a gateway, and also a DNS server, which is all this right here. I click on apply, and once you hit apply, your Synology is going to take between three minutes. It's where it states three minutes, but it took a little shorter than that. It was about a minute, two minutes. Uh, it's setting everything up. Once everything is done, you're going to get this. Setup is completed. Uh, it's going to say uh, reconnect into your new SSID. It's not going to be Synology router anymore. So whatever you changed it, that's going to be your new uh, wireless uh, name. And then provide the password that you provided during the setup. So when you click on your little wireless system on your taskbar, you're going to see your new SSID uh, being uh, kind of advertised. Click on it. Click on connect. Again, I do not like using the eight digit password, so I clicked on connect using a security key and I provided the password that I gave during the wizard. And I clicked on next, started verifying, connecting, and connected secure. Awesome. Once you establish the connection with your new SSID, the web page is going to change into this. Okay. This is your portal to get into the router. The username is going to be admin and whatever password you provided during the wizard. Hit sign in. And then you get this nice little uh, kind of welcome kind of startup page. So click on start. It gives you a couple of tips of what to do with the dashboard. And then you have to make sure you update your system. Uh, when I first set it up, I had to push out maybe two or three updates. And the way that you know you can push up updates is that your control panel is going to have a number one. So don't freak out if you see this. If you click on the control panel, it's going to launch up. And you're going to go to system. You're going to have a new update. Now, the CRM update is 1176941. When I received the device, I had 6502 update too. So that was the current one. I believe I had to do this twice. So I click on download. It's going to start downloading itself. And once it finished download, it's going to be ready to update. Click on update. Definitely want to hit yes on this. Once it starts restarting, you need this nice little timer. One of the things I love about Synology, they do give you a nice little display like a timer. A lot of the routers in the market nowadays don't do that. They have like a loading bar and then once it restarts, you don't know if it's restarting or not because it's stuck on that loading bar. 
with Synology, they give you that nice little view or the countdown. Uh, once it's done, it restarts. It goes back into this page. Log in with your username and password. By default, the username is admin and whatever password you've provided when you set up the router. Sign in. And again, an additional uh, update. You're going to see that one on the control panel. So click on it, go to system, and you're going to see that it's going to try to check for the latest SRM update and another one. So once it's downloading, you're going to hit that update again, hit yes on this. The process is the same procedure. It's the same stuff. It's going to take between 10 minutes for it to push out the firmware. And once it's done, you're going to get the reboot. Once it reboots and you log back into your dashboard, you're going to see that the new CRM has changed a lot. You do get a, a, a couple of features that I do enjoy a lot with this new CRM. One of the new features within the CRM update is the safe access, which I like a lot. Uh, you got threat prevention, which is pretty awesome. You don't automatically get this. So that means you have to go inside the package center and download it and install it within your um, your wireless router. All right, so we're going to do some gaming on uh, the Synology RT2600 AC. This machine is connected to the Wi-Fi. Uh, it is on BTN HD. The only way that you know that I'm connected is if I go to router.synology.com and once you're part of that network, it allows you to log into the router, which I'm doing right now. And bam, cool. Now this computer, this laptop is connected to the 5.0 gigahertz frequency. Uh, so I'm gonna get a lot of uh, good connection. Plus uh, I kinda enabled it to give it a little bit more juice. So I'm wondering how well it's gonna work. I normally don't like playing any games on the wireless. It's not my thing. But uh, I am going to uh, play a little bit of League of Legends and see how well that goes. I do not like playing any games on wireless. I like to be hardwired. Right now this laptop is only, only two connections. That's the power and the USB, which is this guy right here. I wonder how the traffic is. Let me see if I could find my phone. Because on the phone, if your phone is connected to the wireless router, you are able to see the traffic on it so we're gonna open up the DS router hopefully you guys can see and uh, let's see if we can get into where are you let's see traffic controller here it goes where are you and traffic monitor here it goes now I went back to 21 Okay, so that's the laptop right now. Awesome. And this is all live right now. <laughs> Upload and download. It went up to 25. Still 78%. I feel like I'm going to get a little bit of lag during my game time. I just got 100%, but... Uh, it's looking a little you know, it's looking okay so we're gonna play and see how well it goes damn right I'm stuck on 28 milliseconds dude this is this is awesome this is my first time actually playing on wireless I do not like playing wireless when I game uh, I did play destiny on this laptop on the Wi-Fi and it was so smooth The fact that I'm playing on wireless on League of Legends right now, it's pretty, it's super smooth. I'm stuck on 28 milliseconds. It hasn't gone down. It hasn't gone up. It's, it's phenomenal. Now, I personally own a Netgear AC1750 wireless uh, router. Uh, I think I spent, uh, it, it was a while back, maybe $200, the same price tag that the Synology RT2600 AC has. I wish I knew about this guy before I purchased the Netgear one because I'd have definitely went with this one. Now, I'm not telling you guys that this one is the best in the world. It's just the features, the, the interface, the DS router app, everything just works and flows so simple. It's just simple. Uh, like you saw, the configuration is simple. It's get yourself up and running in less than five minutes. Uh, just got to make sure that you upgrade the router. 
push out all the firmware, push out all the updates on all the packages and you're up and running in no matter of time. Now during my testing on the RT2600 AC, it's a powerful device, but it's only powerful because of what I'm pushing into it, meaning my bandwidth. I have a strong bandwidth for my upload and download speed. No matter what router I get, I'm going to get that beautiful speed. Uh, the router itself just kind of, it's able to manage that output and input to my devices kind of seamlessly. And I like that. I like that a lot. I was super surprised to actually play League of Legends and get 28 milliseconds and stay on 28 milliseconds throughout the entire game. I was just, I was, I was shocked. I was like, get out of here. Where have you been? Where? I should have got you rather than get that net gear. Again, the price line is $199. It has a lot of neat features. Uh, I think it's one of the best wireless routers in the market. There's other ones out there that are a little bit, you know, a little better. But this one right here, the one that I have right in my hands that I've been testing out for you guys, I think it's one of the, I say, top three. Uh, a lot of the routers in the system will give you USB ports. You are able to insert external hard drives to, you know, create like a nice little file share system. You know, that's, you know, that's all the devices out in the market. Uh, do, you know, you have the dual band, which gives you 2.4 or 5.0 gigahertz. A lot of the routers in the market gives you that. I think a lot of routers in the market gives you beamforming. This one right here has the multiple user multi-input, multi-output technology, which, is, which I think it's called uh, Moomimo technology. Uh, one of the things I love about this device is that it has two WAN ports. We do failover. I don't see that a lot with uh, wireless routers nowadays, but that's a huge plus. Now, overall, if I needed to recommend a wireless router system to a friend or family member, I would definitely tell them about the Synology RT2600. I'm not trying to hype up and tell you guys that, you know, Got to definitely get this. There's other ones in the market that might be a little better. But for me, for what I've seen with all the features, the price tag, the app, uh, the way it's set up and configuration is definitely a plus, plus, plus for me. So hopefully you guys enjoy this uh, somewhat review on the Synology RT2600 AC. Uh, leave comments right below. Don't forget about hitting that like button. And, you know, Leave it in the bottom of the comment section. What kind of wireless router system do you have in your network? And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.